look how difficult it is for that bumblebee to get inside of this white turtle head. But that is the proper pollination. They've evolved to be the pollinators for white turtle head. They're, you know, they're, they're strong enough to pull these apart and in doing so, what happens is they get covered in pollen. When it comes back out, and you'll see it's a struggle. It's a barely fitting in there because when it does so, it's getting pollen all over its body. And by doing so, it then can go to another flower, do the exact same thing, and that is how it, uh, it will, uh, it's evolved to be the pollinator. So the, uh, the white turtle head, this, this uh, flower of wetlands and so forth, um, has evolved to use this as the main pollinator. And you can see how it just completely disappears inside. But not everything is that patient. And things that haven't evolved to make use of it, well, they do other things, as I'll show you. But let's just watch this guy. See, oh, actually you can see the notch on that flower. Somebody cheated there. But again, watch the, how difficult it is sometimes for this bumblebee, see, to get in there and do the pollination. So things that aren't evolved, like honeybees or even the native carpenter bee. Let me show you what happens. Here is yet another one. And I want you to notice the holes in these flowers. The holes are there for a good reason. Why? Somebody cheated. Either a honeybee, which again didn't evolve with these plants, and so they ate a hole in the side, bypassed the pollination just to get the nectar. So they're still getting a reward, but they're, they're, uh, they're pollen thieves. They're nectar cheats. They've actually not done the job that they were supposed to and pollinated the plant, but they still got the reward. Um, carpenter bees, which of course can drill through wood, they do it sometimes too. Why? Because even though they're big enough, and again, watch this guy doing it the right way, bumblebee. Even though they're big enough, carpenter bees are bigger than bumblebees, their tongue's too short, so they can't get in there. And in fact, it might be a little too big. And by being too big, they don't fit. And since they don't fit, what do they do? Well, they eat a nice little hole on the side of the flower itself, get in there, steal the nectar without pollinating the plant. So um, again, folks, it's kind of how it goes. Some plants are evolved, um, have evolved to do things certain ways, and the pollinators that evolved with them. But it's not a perfect system, as you can see. There are nectar thieves, there are cheats, and, um, and again, that's something that happens with flowers. So here's an example of a bumblebee that can't get in there, so probably can't. Let's see, but it's gonna cheat. This is a European animal. So it's not used to that. So oftentimes it resorts to making holes like this and bypassing the active. It's trying, let's see if it gets in there. If it does and it learns to do it, it'll repeat doing it. But most of the time it either gives up or it eats a hole in the back and cheats. So it's still trying, knows that there's a nectar and pollen reward inside, but gave up. And that's why, again, we need the native pollinators to do the job. You see, it finally failed but at least it didn't bypass it and eat its way in like what happened with these two plants. It's kind of how it works. These animals evolved together. Bumblebees are the proper pollinators for turtle heads, Chelonia, white turtle heads. And this is Chelonia glabria, the white turtle head, our native one. The pink one's not native to the DC area.